All right, guys, time to talk a little bit more about American Evil. I, I've been focusing a little bit on the opening chapters a little bit too much, but I think now it's time to focus on, like, a little bit more of the overarching themes and ideas of the novel. Uh, one of the things I've been focusing on lately, because uh, a lot of these characters were not prevalent in the original draft, is, like, uh, what I refer to as the second-gen characters, right? Of course, you have the characters who kick off what happens in American Evil, but then you have uh, younger people who uh, grew up in the culture, who are deeply ingrained with it, and have been basically allowed to do whatever they want their entire lives, right? And a lot of them, a lot of them have spent their days just indulging in everything they want to do, right? Whether that's like gratuitous violence or sex or or what have you. Like, uh, you know, anything goes in Ignis, right? And the thing is, um, that means that people are free to do good if they want, right? The idea behind Ignis, like its foundation, like uh, the culture there, the the people uh, as a community is that, like, you should be allowed to do whatever you want right? Like absolute true liberty in that sense. So what that means is that there are characters who choose to good, be good people, who choose to uh, to fight against injustices, who choose to fight against like a, the corruption and the evil in the area, right? But they don't necessarily know like what that means right sometimes they do really good things and other times they do really warped weird things i, I do think like uh when it comes to these second gen characters uh basically i would say at anyone under 18 right so uh that includes characters like ichiro takamura uh yuri love uh poppy uh Winsor poppy uh yolanda well uh yolanda is I think I'm going to rename her Marlene as a homage to uh, Final Fantasy VII, but uh, yeah, like Yolanda's like that, uh, Diana's like that. Like, the reality is, um, these are not good people in, in a traditional sense, right? You know, they are, they do have, like, really deranged views on uh, how how things should be done and what needs to be accomplished and how they should go about their daily lives and stuff like that, right? Ichiro is very violent and aggressive, right? Uh, Yuri has a really warped uh, perspective on, like, love and relationships. Um, like, the idea is, essentially, that even though, in a lot of ways, these, these people, uh, these younger people do want to do be good uh, do good right do want to make things better in ignis are doing the right uh are committing to like the right steps to make things better for everyone like in a lot of ways they don't really know what that means right in a lot of ways they do things that are perfectly normal to them in ignis but are absolutely abhorrent like to anyone uh, outside of that culture right Iro ichiro's attitude uh puts people off right like, uh, his behavior, his aggressiveness, the way he treats other people, his girlfriend, like, it's, it is, in a lot of ways, disgusting behavior, and it's meant to be disgusting, right? It's meant to emphasize that, uh, the character has a very warped perspective on, on how things should be, on how he should treat other people, and what he should do, and th the idea behind these second-gen characters is, in a lot of ways, they do learn from the uh, the first generation characters, right? You know, they're there for them. They're supportive from, of them. They address their issues. They're willing to uh, teach them and be there for them and stuff like that. The idea is that the older generation is there to support the newer one, right? Like, you don't make excuses. You don't try to scream about how, like, kids these days don't know how things are. Like, you just teach them right you don't complain you don't whine you don't make you don't come up with ridiculous excuses like you just do it right and uh, yeah like that is uh i i think going to be a a major theme uh major overarching theme of the novel is this idea that uh society needs to contribute to itself right you need to contribute to other people
and uh, I hope that uh, these characters and their arcs and uh, the things they go through really resonate with people who are struggling today. I I really hope this is something a little bit different. Uh, this story is a little bit different than what you might be used to seeing. I hope you people enjoy it.